Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will learn about PDO PDO stands for PHP data objects PDO is a lean consistent way to access databases this means developers can write portable code much easier PDO is a database access layer providing a uniform method of access to multiple databases it doesn't account for database specific syntax but can allow for the process of switching databases and platforms to be fairly painless simply by switching the connection string in many instances let's start by creating a new folder pdo and then we will create a new file pdo connect.php and in this file we will define our connection to the database let's create a variable dsn and here we will define mysql and the host equal to localhost and db name is system so the db is equals to new pdo and here we will provide our dsn then username and password and the username is root and i have no password now let's create another file in this folder database.php and here we will include this file pdo connect try and catch block and then require once pdo connect.php let's check this file and here you can see the database and if we change the name of database then here you can see the unknown database system x let's change the username and here you can see that access denied for user routes so the connection is working and the try catch block is throwing the error let's check our database open php my admin and here is our database system and the table users here we have this select static from users copy this and let's create a new variable sql and paste the query here we can keep this or we can remove this and then iteration so this db is this so the for each db query and the r query is this query and here we will get the result in draws so as raw and then print r raw and a break line and here is our 
record so the array 0 and array 1 and we can access data like this raw email and here it is and we can also perform this action in try catch block ROS is equals to db query and this and if we change our table name from users to user x then here you can see that invalid arguments applied for for each because there is no such array of rows for handling these errors let's create a variable errors and then we will check db error info and if is set errors then print our errors let's check this and here you can see that the array index 2 has this error table syntax user x the index 0 and 1 does not contain the error therefore we need to modify this if statement so we will write like this if not is set table systems.userx and if we change x to this and here you can see that the 0 1 and 2 but the index 2 is empty so we will use index 2 with errors so it will perform correctly and here is the result and please note that the error is in index 2 Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And if you have any question, then leave it in comment section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.